Sat upon the kitchen stool, right after Shane had left for school. Around the kitchen, Bobby bustled. She told me, Scotty, don't move a bustle. Then from the fridge, she pulled ingredients. While like a statue, I sat obedient. Bobby cracked one egg, then two, and whipped them up into yellow goo. Twasn't long until they hissed, and in between, the chef was kissed. Then in the toaster went some bread, while Bobby kissed me on my head. The fateful moment drawing near, the table I began to clear, then served before me on a plate. My breakfast, I squealed and ate. As I reveled in my morning bliss, I gave Bobby a thank you kiss. While I finished off the dregs, I smiled. The perfect folded eggs. Shaded's dog is named Buffin, but she gives me Craig vibes. Her needs are simple, food, water, snuggles, and walks. But deep down, I think she wishes her name was Craig. Fear, in a nutshell. When Bobby says it's bedtime. But what about my... The loops, the turns, the tracks, the fun. A ride enjoyed by everyone. My heart raced as I observed the roller coaster sink and swerve. In store for me, delight. Closer, closer to the ride, by excitement I couldn't hide. And as my spirit surged and rushed, I didn't know it would be crushed. My downfall was by height. Thank you for listening to my poems and for watching Miss Janice's interpretive dance. Um, as always, like and subscribe and comment below with your favorite poems. Thanks as always to Shaded and Charlotte for helping me make this video and of course to Miss Janice. Um, I guess that's it. I love you viewers. Goodbye. So, when Scotty asked me to do this video for him, I was immediately drawn back to my days of interpretive dance when I lived in Flagstaff, Arizona. Now, this was many years before I met Mr. Janice, but it's something that I've always been proud of and always tried to include in my day-to-day -day life. So, I thought, what better place than in one of Scotty's videos where he asked me to do interpretive dance? So I channeled everything I knew, and all of a sudden, I was there. I was transported into the poetry, and I couldn't feel anything else. Just like I did in Flagstaff when I did a ton of peyote. I spent four days in the desert with a woman named Maria. Turns out she was not any good at, at interpretive dance, but she did teach me a lot about myself and what I was capable of. And from there, I did it myself. Even though she didn't teach me anything about interpretive dance, Maria taught me a great deal. And I very much value the things that Maria brought to me that day, and I will hold them forever in my heart. Because we will always have flank staff, Maria. And if you're out there watching, I've carried on your legacy. Anyway, that's how I learned how to do interpretive dance.